The most basic thing about block is the BL element. So let's look at it. Um, so here we have it, the class, and then all of the, the methods and stuff. We have a comment that we, we can read through. Um, let's create a new BL element and I'm going to do it in Go. Do it all in Go. And uh, so what it does, what that does is it inspects the last thing in our playground. So we have live and a preview and it's not showing up because we haven't given it a background yet. And the background is the color that we want it to be. And you can just make it black. I'm going to do it all and go again. So now we have a black element. Uh, in the preview. Uh, the thing I really like about live is they have made it so you can see all the events that are triggered in the live um, live window. So let's I want to just I'm gonna clear that go back into live and then I'm gonna enter it and then move around the element a little bit and exit. So now let's look at it. So this is a list of all the events that were triggered um, in our event. So we have, um, you know, leave, over, enter, you know, all these move arounds, um, and then out and leave. So, and I just clicked on one and that brings us into it so we can see, see all the properties of our event as well. So that's really nice. And the preview, um, uh, it doesn't do that. So, but it will be useful later on. Um, I'll get to, to that later. So anyways, we can change, oops. We can change the size as well. Um, and we add, put in a point, uh, so 300 by 300. And uh, I guess I can show you that as well. So now, our element is larger and we can change we have uh, options for geometry right now by default it's a rectangle but we can um, have it be a different shape so I'm going to look up well I guess I don't need to look it up it's right here here's the BL geometry and the options we have are circle, ellipse, polygon, polyline, rectangle, and square um, I'm not going to go into the, the differences of this. I'll just just make this an ellipse. If I can uh, type. So does not um, we need to make it new. You know instead of passing in the class we need to pass in an instance of the class, an object. So now we have a new ellipse, and it's only a circle because um, because our size was a circle. But now we have okay, so 300 by 200. The convention is 300, and then you read the Y going down instead of up, um, which is common with um, a lot of computers. Computer stuff is to read Y going down from the top. So one thing I want to mention about this is that our events only um, are triggered within the geometry. So if we look at events, I'm going to clear it, go to live, move around, and oh, I accidentally moved into it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to you know, move my mouse around outside and nothing happens, but as soon as I enter and leave, then all the events will come up. Speaking about events, we can add an event listener to our element. So we're going to add event handler on do. And what we give it here is a BL event. And we're going to do what we put here is a block that takes uh, an event as an argument. Um, so rather than write that out, I'll just give an example. So let's look at our BL events. 
Um, so here are all the options that we can put in there. We have uh, scrolled, space focus, gesture. Um, for this, I just want to look at the mouse. So we can do mouse out, over, mouse move, mouse down. Let's do mouse down event. So when I click down, I want it to do something BL, um, mouse down event, and we give it a block and the argument for the block is going to be the event and um, what do we want it to do I want to change the color and so I'm just gonna um, give it a name really quick and then so when I click mouse down I want to change the balls background to color random And we'll get uh, away from this in the future, but so now when I when it gets a mouse down event, I'm clicking mouse down, and uh, so it's changing the color. So like I said, with the uh, the events, we can you know. Um, so let me sh do that again. Um, I'm in the events right here. And um, this is the list of events, and I'm just clicking into it to see what an event looks like. And what I'm most interested in is the target. Um, so, and the target is the, the ball. So instead of saying ball, we can say event target background background color random. So now this says uh, we have a BL element, and um, we, when the event, uh, when it gets a BL mouse down event, we want it to do, uh, we want to look at the events target and change the background of that target to random, and the target's going to be ball. So it's going to do the same thing, um, but I just like this better than having um, name the name in here. Uh, rename this LM1 and I'm gonna copy the whole thing and do LM2 and I'll just do that again and may name this LM3 and I'll make these a little bit smaller in the, the X and the Y or in the X um, so now we, we have uh, th three elements, and I'm going to talk about um, composing elements. So uh, you create elements with other elements. You add the elements as their children. Um, so let's look at the element. Um, so children adding and removing, you have all of these, these ways to add and remove children. Uh, so let's just do that really quick. Let's do lm1 add child and let's do lm2 and let's uh, oops. let's have uh, both LM1, lm2 and lm3 be children of lm1 and then we need to because um, our do it and go looks at the last thing. We're going to look at LM1. So our live. Uh, yeah, it's uh, we can't see the, the circles in there because uh, they're black to begin with. Um, so uh, I'm not going to change that now, but that's why we couldn't couldn't see them to begin with. And let's look at the children. So as we would expect, we have, this is our first element, and then the children are, we have both LM2 and LM3 as a children elements to the first element. And so, you know, if we change this to two, we make uh, two a child of one and three a child of two, this will change. 
So here we have, this would be LM3, this is LM2, and this is LM1, and you, you can see how the structure of this has changed. That now this is under this, kind of nested. So uh, looking at it by do it and go, um, inspecting it is, uh, is nice, but it doesn't give us that live feeling that we get from morphs. Um, so I'm just going to, let's just get, minimize that and get a new playground. Uh, so let's look at space. And space is basically the window, BL space. Um, space. So I'm just uh, creating a new space and giving it the name space and it doesn't show up. The way we get it to show up is by surprisingly enough uh, show. So here's our uh, space and we can uh, we can change the size of it if we want. Extent uh, to whatever we want. It doesn't doesn't matter. So we can change the size. We can um, we can change the title. Uh, do it. So the title changed up here. Um, so what's important about the space is the space. The root and the root is the base element, the root element of the space. So I'm just going to inspect that, um, look at it in preview. So uh, so basically, it's the the white area. So because it's an element, we can treat it like an element and do things like. Um, we can change the color to whatever we want. I'm just, uh, I'm just clicking um, Command D over and over again. So, so yeah, that's a, a gives us more live feeling. And um, I'm just going to copy and paste our element from before, our element one. And so I, I'm going to do this. So now we have access to an element. We can do space root add child lm1. So our element showed up, and it has the same, you know, um, just changing the color because it has that, anyways. And we can do like space, we can do LM1. Uh, so now we can really have a more live um, interaction with our elements by, you know, uh, asking it to relocate to whatever, you know, 50 by 100. So it went 50 and then 100 down. We can, you know, just play around with with our elements, um, with the, the the live aspect of it. So I'm new to block, and I just want to uh, wanted to put this together as kind of an easy way in for other people who are trying to get into block. And then also because I am a beginner, um, I would appreciate any comments if I misspeak or if I if there's a better way of doing things or if I'm un unclear, um, please let me know in the comments and because I could uh, definitely learn learn from you guys and uh, I, uh, I appreciate all the help on Discord.